welcome to our latest lockdown yoga class so today we're going to go much more gentle this is a seated sort of grounded uh, sequence which is just going to open up the spine and the neck and, and just free up a lot of energy around the body when we get still for long periods of time the body really gets lethargic and slows down so some simple little moves and things that will just invigorate you and just get your energy flowing around your body again and this really helps your immune system when we're still we're a bit like uh, a still water pond so a still water pond you, you can't go and drink from it because it's just not healthy but if it's a flowing stream of water you can put your glass into that and you can drink it all the time and you'll be fine so what we want to do if you can imagine your energy is a bit like that water so if we're still and we're stagnant, then the energy is low and then we get sort of trapped into negative thought patterns. But once we get moving and we sort of get that energy flowing, then more positive uh, mindset, we feel better. We're more likely to be inspired to do something or to help somebody along the way. So start and see it. So get comfortable. Now you might, if sitting down is, is kind of uncomfortable, you can use the yoga block or you can use a cushion but we, I don't want you to kind of sit up on top of it so if you if you sat cross-legged on the floor like this if you just lean forward like this and then just slide that block in like that and then sit up and it just sort of it just picks up the coccyx and it just enables you to, to be able to sit <coughs> for a slightly longer period of time more, more comfortable really okay so hands are down onto the knees, sit up nice and tall, draw your shoulder blades down your back and close your eyes and just start to come to the breath. Take a couple of breaths, get used to the sound of it. Feel if you take a couple of deep breaths how the system just goes oh, on the exhale. Take a big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, fill the belly up, fill the chest up, and a big ah. And the exhale, just let any tension go. Again, inhale. And just return to gentle belly breath. Eyes are closed, sat, relaxed, shoulders are relaxed down the back, tummy's relaxed. Breathing in and out through the nose. So open the eyes. Take the left hand out to the side. Bring the palm down onto the floor. And then gently draw your right ear down towards your right shoulder so just in that action alone you'll start to feel this nice stretch through the trapezius and through the side of the neck here and then bring the right hand up and over and just it's just the weight you're not pulling down onto the head just the weight of the arm and then this left hand let that walk away as far as you can and try and draw that shoulder blade down and back and away from the neck so you really get that lengthening out right through the side of the neck here nice breaths try and relax keeping the hand on the head we're going to roll the chin down towards the right shoulder and then keep that nice draw on the head and you'll feel how it moves around the side of the neck and down so keep reaching away with that left hand and gently draw the chin in towards the right shoulder and then release let the head come back to the center and bring both hands down to the floor sit up nice and tall big inhale exhale right hand is flattened to the floor bring the left 
ear down towards the left shoulder and then walk that right hand away and draw that right shoulder down bring the left hand up and onto the side of the head and then it's just the weight of the arm you're not really pulling down hey Shaki but feel that lovely stretch down through the shoulder in, up to the base of the skull and then gently roll the chin in towards the left shoulder and move that stretch around the side of the neck. And release, bring both hands down to the floor, straighten the head, big inhale. <sighs> Open the eyes. So draw the shoulder blades down the back and away from the neck and then let the chin come down towards the chest and as you do that keep this sensation of pulling the shoulders down away from the neck and just let the head relax forward so the chin comes down to the chest just feel that lovely lengthening through the back of the neck hands are down onto the floor shoulders are drawn down the back and just let the weight of the head hang forward bring your fingertips up to the back of the head and gently again just sort of the weight of the arms let the weight of the arms come down as you do that draw the shoulder blades down the back towards the waist and feel the back of the neck really stretch out so don't pull here just gentle And then release, bring the hands down to the knees and bring the head back up to upright chin level with the floor. Big inhale. So now we're going to bring, you want to bring the fingertips around to the back of the neck here. So either side of the, of the spine like this and then you just want to push in and make circles like this. So you'll feel the spine runs up the middle here. On either side you've got these muscles here so you're just pushing in and making circles and then come a bit further down and push in make circles so you want to come all the way down the back of the neck towards the top of the shoulders just push in make circles then release and then move down the tops of the shoulders here down the trapezius muscles you might even want to cross the hands over here and, and do opposite sides. And then again, just working up them muscles up to the back of the head. And then release, bring the head level. You can't beat it, can you? So the left hand is going to come out to the side now. Sort of reach as far across as you can. And then see if you can bend that left elbow and bring the forearm down to the floor. And then gently push that right knee down towards the floor. If you can, turn the head, look up towards the ceiling. So we get this spiral twist through the spine. But you feel this big stretch all the way up through the side body. And then open the right hand up. And bring it up and over the head and reach over the head. See if you can look up to that hand. And then inhale, come back up to centre, hands are on the knees. <sighs> nice sigh on the exhale. So the right hand is going to go out to the side. See if you can bring that right forearm down towards the floor and then gently push that left knee away. See if you can turn the head, look up. And then raising the left arm, bring it up and over the head and reach through the fingers. See if you can look up to that right, uh, left hand.
and the inhale, come back up to centre and bring the hands onto the knees and a nice sigh on the exhale. And then bring the hands onto the knees. So this is like a cat cow, but we're in a seated position. So as you inhale, you kind of lift the chest, draw the shoulders down, look up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, draw the tummy in, roll down through the spine and lean back until you can feel that stretch and then inhale open draw the shoulder blades down push the chest up exhale close tummy in roll down through the spine lean back hold on to the knees spread the shoulder blades inhale open Exhale, close. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, back to the center. <clears throat> so now we're going to roll down through the spine like we did on the exhale. So exhale and roll down through the spine, lean back as far as you can, move all the way round to the right and then all the way forward and as you come around to the left push that right knee away, come as far as you can to the left and then all the way back and around. So as you come to the right push the left knee away and come all the way forward and all the way around. So close your eyes and just feel this rotation through the spine. Feel how the hips are working hard, so nice big breaths. And then we're going to go to the opposite side, so around to the right. Push the left knee away, look back as far as you can, all the way over to the left. Moving that right knee out and around to the front. So try and slow it down maybe, take any jerky movements out of it, close your eyes, maybe bring your attention into them, vertebrae down there in the lumbar that are working so hard, and then come back to the centre. So shoulder blades are down the back, lift the head, look up and bring the fingertips to just underneath the jaw and just gently lift the head. You feel this lovely stretch down through the front of the neck into the collarbones. Nice steady breaths. And then as you feel your jawline here, just inside of that little area of the sock, so we have this triangular area here from the side of the jaw like this. We just want to just massage in that area there. So this controls a lot of the hormone production in the body, so it's a good place to be massaging. And get up the inside of the jaw there with the thumbs, just a little massage inside of the jaw all the way around to the front and then grab your chin. Bring your chin level with the floor and give your chin a little squeeze up and down and then sideways and then follow your cheekbones here around and then this section here at the side of the jaw, just this little section here, again, just push in and make little circles. So we can carry a lot of tension in the jaw. So this can be quite sensitive in here. Feel really hard, tight. So just nice and gentle. Break up any of that crystallization in there. down to the knees 
Okay, so this is going to seem a bit weird, but it feels great, believe me. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and open our mouth as wide as we can, open our eyes as wide as we can. We really want to be as extensive as we can, so it's like an inhale. And on the exhale, scrunch your face right up. Okay, so it's inhale, open, exhale, scrunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, scrunch your face up as tight as you can. And then come back to centre. Okay, so uncross the legs, bring the feet forward. Ooh, okay, been there a little while. So give the feet a little shake, the legs a little bounce up and down. And then again, you can sit up on your block if you need to, to, to get that extra little bit of height in this. So rather than it being like this now, if you want, you can sit up onto the block like that and it can just give you a little bit more space to move. So if you can, we're going to take this left foot and take it to the outside of the right knee. And then sit back and draw that knee across the body towards that right shoulder. And then that right arm is going to come over the knee like this. So Try not to slouch, think, sit up nice and tall and bring the left hand around behind. So you kind of want the left hand in line with your coccyx, with your spine. And then try and get your heel as close as you can to your coccyx. So when you actually push down and push into the heel, it makes you sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, turn, look over that left shoulder. Oh, feels too good. Exhale, release, turn all the way around and have a little counter twist. And then come back to the centre, straighten the legs. And this time take the right foot to the outside of the left knee. And again, sit up nice and tall. Draw that knee across the shoulder towards the left shoulder. Bring the left arm up and over and the right hand behind. So then, again, push into that right heel and make the sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are down the back, tummy is in. Inhale into the chest and exhale turn and look over that right shoulder. Well done, inhale, release, turn all the way around, have a little counter twist, and then come back to the centre and bring the legs. So you want the feet hip distance apart, you might need a yoga belt again here, so you can pop your belt over your legs like this. Again, this can be a dressing gown cord, it can be the belt off your pants, doesn't really matter. But the feet are, are the width of your mat apart. If you have your belt there, lift the thighs and then lift any muscles away from your sit bones so you feel your sit bones are really in contact with the floor. And then open the arms and inhale, reach up and then exhale, you're going to fall forward and see if you can take a hold of the sides of the feet now. If that's a challenge, if the knees want to bend, keep the legs straight, take a hold of your belt and then you can move yourself forward like this. If you can, take a hold of the feet. Lift up, tummy in, and then exhale. Think your head is moving into this space between your feet here, not down here. You want to be thinking, I'm moving all the way forward like that. And then you'll feel this lift up here out of the lumbar. You can open your legs so you can get your tummy in between. And maybe lift again, inhale. Exhale, relax forward. And inhale, roll up through the spine, 
Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, bend the knees until you can bring the feet flat onto the floor. And when you're ready, inhale, step up and into your tabletop, lift the head, look up. And then exhale, bring your heels, your sit bones down to your heels and feel that stretch in the front of the shoulders. Inhale back up to your table. Exhale, lowering the sit bones down towards the heels. Feel that stretch in the front of the shoulders. And then lower the sit bones. Come forward, hug the knees in. As tight as you can. And then let your forehead come down towards your knees. Tummy is in, so big deep breaths into the back. If you want, you can come up to a little balance for your cosmic egg. But keep the tummy in, take really deep breaths so you feel the back expand. And then bring the feet down to the floor and then straighten the legs and come all the way down to lying down. Bring the hands down to the floor, bend the knees, draw the heels into the sit bones. So you want to have your feet hip distance apart. If you bring your hands down by your hips you can feel that they're there. And then try not to let the feet do this, try and keep the feet straight and the knees straight. Hands are flat on the floor, inhale, step into the feet, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high, bring the hands underneath the body into fire hands, and then as you push the hands down to the floor, stamp into the feet, lift the hips high, big deep breaths. And lower down. Hug the knees into the chest. Have a gentle rock from side to side. Bring the feet together into a prayer and bring the hands underneath the legs and see if you can take a hold of the feet. Inhale, lay the head down. And then exhale, lift the head and shoulders up off the floor and try and draw the toes towards the third eye. And release. Bring the arms up and over the head, straighten the legs all the way out. And then bring the hands back over. And then bend the knees, draw the knees into the chest, and then bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out to the side, and then gently lower the knees to the left and turn the head and look to the outstretched right hand. Bring the knees back into the centre, hug them in, have a little rock forward and backwards. And then bring the right hand to the left knee, left hand out to the side, lower the knees to the right. Turn the head and look to the outstretched left hand. knees come into the center, hug them in and then you may need your yoga belt again here. This is going to be a gentle inversion so if you can open your knees 
take a hold of your big toes with the first two fingers and then straighten the legs and just see if you can keep the legs straight with the soles facing up towards the sky and holding the toes so if you can't do that and you're bending the knees again pop your belt over your legs and then just use the belt to just keep the legs up there. So this is an inversion without having to do a shoulder stand or a head stand or a hand stand or whatever it may be. So really all you're doing is you're emptying all the blood that are in the legs down into the torso so the heart just gets to have a little rest. Maybe we get some oxygen up and into the brain some blood in there which again just getting the oxygen moving around the energy moving around the body and clear negative energy clear negative energy manifests in all sorts of ways you know you can think yourself down all sorts of streets you know it can make you ill it can make you tired lethargic so really we just need to shake ourselves up a little bit and just get ourselves moving the legs up keep the legs nice and straight and then bend the knees take the belt off the legs and bring the feet all the way down straighten the legs and then push into the forearms and come up and onto the elbows and maybe bring your hands underneath your bum squeeze your shoulder blades together push your tailbone into the floor lift the chest and let the head lay back Inhale, lift the head, bend the knees, roll back, hook the knees into the chest, take an inhale. Exhale, lift your head up to your knees, scrunch yourself up into a little ball, and then inhale, turn the head to the left. Exhale to the center, and inhale to the right. Inhale to the center, and then straightening the legs, Lying down, let your feet fall out to the side, hands are out down by the side, palms facing up, lift the shoulders, relax the shoulders onto the floor, give your feet a little move, find that lovely comfortable space, allow yourself to close your eyes, take a nice big deep breath, and exhale, just allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper, deeper into relaxation as we carry on. Imagining there's a white light just above the crown of the head. This white light is just pure energy, pure source energy. It's going to enter down through the crown of the head and start to fill up the head with this beautiful white light, this golden energy. So it fills the whole of the head up from the sides, front to back, top to bottom. Clearing out any negative energy, any negative thoughts, anything that isn't serving you. And just dissolving it away into this light. So it starts to move down and into the neck, through the throat, through the vertebrae at the back of the neck, through the muscles in the neck, the skin, filling the whole neck up with this beautiful golden light, this pure source energy. Clearing any negative energy, anything that isn't serving you, any shadows, any negative thoughts you have about yourself or others, just dissolving them away into this light, pure source energy. As it moves down into the shoulders, across the back of the shoulders, the shoulder blades, and starts to fill you up like a glass from the back up until it fills the chest. 
across the heart space, the ribs, filled up with this beautiful healing energy, this beautiful white light, pure source, dissolving any negative energy, anything that isn't serving you, and creating your higher self is dissolved away in this beautiful white light. It moves down through the arms, the biceps and triceps into the elbows, the forearms, the wrists and hands, through the fingers. You're really starting to become aware of this light filling up your head, your neck, your chest and now your arms. This radiant golden light. And it starts to come down into your tummy, into your torso through the spine, into the lower back, around all the internal organs, filling you up with this beautiful source energy, this healing light. So it moves down into the pelvis, through the reproductive organs and hips, through the glutes, dissolving any negative energy, any negative thoughts or feelings that you have for yourself or others and just dissolving them into this pure source, love, light, this energy. As it moves down into the thighs, the hamstrings, into the knees, into the kneecap, the sides of the knees, the back of the knee, down into the calves, the shin bones, into the ankles and feet. until you feel this beautiful source of dissolving any negative energy, any shadows, anything that isn't serving you to your highest purpose and just dissolving it into this positive energy, into this beautiful golden light, this positive source energy flowing through your body, head to toe. And just allow yourself to sink into this healing energy. any tension to leave the mind, leave the body, surrender, allow. slowly start to bring yourself back, start to become aware of your breath, aware of noises inside and outside of the room, start to gently move fingers and toes, reconnecting the mind, the body, the spirit. On the next inhalation, raise your arms up and over your head, and on the exhalation of a real early morning stretch, stretch through your fingers, stretch through your toes, bring yourself right the way back into the here and now, and then gently draw the knees into the chest and roll onto the right hand side, keeping the eyes closed. Take a moment there. A 
when you're ready. Coming all the way back to where we started the class, the comfortable seated position on your mat, hands are on the knees, shoulders are relaxed down the back, eyes are closed. Keep the left hand to your heart and the right hand to your tummy and just take a few moments to go through your gratitude practice today. Keep gratitude for anything in your life, it doesn't matter how small or how big. What are you grateful for in this very moment right now? Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye, lower them down to the heart space, tip the chin forward. Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. So, thank you very much everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. A little simple ground and sequence. It can make you feel really secure, gets the energy moving. And um, so again, thank you for all your uh, subscribes on YouTube, all your amazing comments. And uh, again, if you feel like there's a, a particular class that you like, go back, do it again and, and just build yourself up. If it makes you feel good, it's a surefire sign that it's saying to you, well, maybe I should do this again. OK, so new video soon. Thank you. Namaste. Took a